You guys want to grab one of these? You might want to hold it the whole time. They're so wet. The microphones are so wet. That's yeah. the way you want a microphone. <laughs> they don't work. You, you want a sopping <laughs> wet mic. Dude. That is... <laughs> yeah. That's rule one on one of comedy. You fucking noobs out here. You and your dry mics. Yeah. <laughs> you want to make it in this biz, you got to so sop that thing up. You got to <laughs> dip it in a, a viscous liquid. <laughs> make some noise for Chater and everybody. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for coming out. My name is Demetrius Fields, and this is the Comedy Lottery. Our guest hosts tonight are Che Durana and Jason Choi. Everybody make some noise for them. <laughs> Hell yeah, you know how this works. Dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. They will then be rated on a scale of one through 10 by this panel of judges right here. Five is average, it's like a bell curve. The comedians with the three highest scores by the end of the night will perform one final joke, and then you, yes, you, the audience, is gonna decide who goes home with the comedy lottery jackpot. What's the comedy lottery jackpot tonight? Uh, yeah, it's 210 fucking dollars. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. All right, we like to start this show off. Uh, silly, goofy guys. We like to start this show off by having the winner of last week try to do one more. Shirt, I'm gonna crazy. <laughs> we like to start this show off by having the winner of last week uh, do another set to see if we can get a streak of winner going right now. The longest streak is two wins with Jay Turner. That could get beat tonight. Put your hands together for last week's winner, Daniel, everybody. Yeah. Let's go. What's up, niggas? How we doing? Uh, <laughs> This is not, I went to Chipotle before I came here. I just moved here, by the way. I didn't understand. I'm from Phoenix, where Chipotles are normal. I went to a Chipotle, like, right around the way. You know, you've been to Chipotle. You know how it works. I went in. I asked for a burrito. The, they're supposed to ask you, like, the dude was like, kind of rice do you want? I said, white. They're like, kind of beans do you want? I said, black. And then they're supposed to ask what kind of meat you want next, or at least that's what it says on their frequently asked questions page online. Before I could even say anything, the dude working behind the sneeze guard was already reaching for the chicken, <laughs> which is exactly what I wanted, Nick. It's like, what do you, what do you think I want, barbacoe? Would I look like a gay guy to you? No, I, <laughs> chicken on the lay, rapido, let's go. And I could have complained to the manager, I'm Jewish, we're great at that. I didn't do that. <laughs> what I did do is I walked out of that bitch and I filled my water cup up with soda and took a full fucking Tabasco because fuck them. <laughs> No, that's insane. Fuck you. Like, that's crazy. And believe me, I want to work hard one day and get a nice house and a nice car and a trophy wife or a girl with fat titties. Either one. <laughs> but right now, I'll just take some, some guac money. Like, same situation, right? We're back at Chipotle. White rice, black beans, that kind of racially charged chicken. And then when I go to ask for guac, I'm tired of these niggas being like, that's going to be extra. Is that okay? And then me having to be like, let me ask Wells Fargo. Let me see what these ponies got to say about this. <laughs> They said, no, they said, absolutely not. <laughs> That's crazy. That's such a shitty joke. You guys laughed at that. That's good. I did a horse neigh. Something about that as a black dude pisses me off. I, uh, I, uh, I took my, uh, my cat to the vet. My lady came up to me three days ago, and she goes, yeah, my wife is egregiously Caucasian. She comes up, and she goes, hey, I think our cat's depressed. <laughs> We've been together long enough that I know it's not worth my time to fight with her. So fast forward two hours, now we're at a vet. It's me, my depressed cat, my sad wife. <laughs> it's me and two sad pussies. We're at the vet's office just hanging out. Two decrepit Pikachus. <laughs> this vet walks in, this goddamn salesman. This nigga walks up, looks at the cat, doesn't look at me and my wife, and just goes, yeah, that's depressed, and puts it right the fuck down. Then looks me and my girl in the eye and goes, we're going to need to do blood work and tests. <laughs> go, I bet the fuck you are, and they go, aren't we? And then someone got a quota to fill. He takes her back, does the blood work and test, comes right back, gives her back, and goes, yeah. She's dying. You don't know her. Calm down. <laughs> she goes, yeah, they got two to six months to live. Option number one, $8,000 procedure. Almost fought this motherfucker. Option, <laughs> option number two, we can give them all the good love and affection in the world and just let the kidney disease win. And then that made it real easy for me. Because I love my little fur baby to death. I do. I love my little furry nigglet. I would do a lot for him but not $8,000 a lot, and $8,000 is absolutely crazy. My name's Daniel Bridgegate, I appreciate it. Make some noise for Daniel, everybody. He just moved here from Arizona. What do you guys think? I wanna hear your unfiltered opinion. Uh, oh, uh, okay, uh, I mean, the set was tepid, but I feel like maybe you've 
burned a lot of jokes on other shows, like on the previous ones. So I think that was a lot of new shit. I came back. I did a cat joke last week, and I tried to write new fun. I mean, my cat's dying, Chad. It's not. No, I mean that's. I I I hope you get a good bit out of it. Um, (laughs) That's good. But. uh, there was a couple. When you said you were, Jew- are you Jewish? Yeah. Okay. That would be a crazy identity to like just front. Like that's a that's a. But dude, people thing do it all the time. I live in Harlem. It's uh, like their favorite thing. They're like, we're the real Jews. Uh, and it's like, dude, no, you're not. You're from Detroit. But you, Someone you got to so. <laughs> I think you can't say that without having a bit or something to acknowledge it. Before. Because my brain goes, what? Yeah. And then I'm focused on that. Yeah. So, like, I think it's a, there's probably a lot of comedy there because it's, it's, it's not usual. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think uh, I think uh, I liked a lot. I liked your stage presence a lot. Your tone was very good, very confident on stage. But that just felt, it felt a little, very new, a little loose. But, yeah, that's, I guess, my only thing on that is just that. That I was thinking about that the entire time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What you think of Jay? Yeah, I mean, you're you're obviously a cool guy. Your vibe is great. You know, uh, you like uh, I think you get great presence. I would just think about like getting uh, starting closer to the point. Yeah. Like in the beginning, you you were uh, mentioning how you were from Phoenix. There's a lot of Chipotle's in Phoenix, but that doesn't Phoenix and Chipotle doesn't come into anything you talked about. Yeah. So just kind of start in Chipotle, you know, and just get to like. Because I think you were headed towards the funny part with, like, uh, when, you know, the interaction with the, the front person. So yeah. getting to that as quick as you can will, like, help it be more, like, dialed in. To the point. I got yeah. you. Hell yeah. I agree with them. I was thinking the same thing. I think you're very, like, entertaining. You have a commanding stage presence. Like, you just really draw the attention of the room, which is something that takes a really long time to get going. But the the set could have been punched up a little bit more. Uh, I'd like to listen to you talk, but I just feel like it could have a little little bigger pops in there. You know what I mean? Can't rock off just uh, charisma. I also have on my board, you look like you sold CMOS to Big Sean. (laughs) <laughs> also, uh, when you buy cocaine, you tell them to leave the fentanyl in. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got so far. All right. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think it's score wise? I'm gonna give you a five. Give There's a lot five. of stuff that was. They do say that's the average, Che. They yeah. do say that's the average. I would say that's a. That I would say the 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 jokes need to punch up, but your stage presence was good, and there was structure and premises that were tight. Yeah. That I liked, but I but yeah, I was missing some stuff. What do you think? Yeah, like a six. Like a six? I'm thinking a six as well. All right, so now you're on the top of the leaderboard. The score to beat is 17. Make some noise for Daniel, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're just going to keep going. You guys ready to go to the bucket? All right, your first or second comedian of the night. Put your hands together right now for Brian R., everybody. Thank you guys for doing this. Thank you guys. I'm happy to be here in New York because everybody back in Boston confuses me with the Boston Marathon bomber. So it's uh, not fun. Not a fun identity to identify with. Uh, I will say uh, my name is Brian Rojas, but some people in Boston like to say Brian Rojas. They like to roll their R. They try to try to be spicy, these white people. And they'll be like, Brian, that's so cool, man. You know how to roll your R's and speak Spanish? I wish my parents taught me how to roll my R's and speak Espanol. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, Dylan, that's so cool, man. I wish my parents taught me how to roll over my 401k, <laughs> build generational wealth, and avoid taxes. That'd be sick. I was so dumb and illiterate, I thought LLC was a gang growing up. <laughs> I'd be in the back of my friend's music video. They'd be like, Brian, throw some gang signs for us. I'd be like, I got you, fam. <laughs> They're like, Brian, what the, cut the music. What the fuck was that? And before I could answer, we got jumped by a bunch of investment bankers. <laughs> I got a Colombian dad, I got a Dominican mom, beautiful couple. I should be the sexiest person in this room, but instead I really just be getting randomly selected at airports all the fucking time. It's crazy. My dad, he don't speak a lot of English. Back in 2016, I was applying to colleges. My dad is trying to learn English watching Fox News, picking up on words. So I'm applying to colleges, and my dad busts into my room one day like some narco Superman. And he's like, mijo, mire, encontré, I found this college that I think you should apply to. And I'm like, what is it, Dad? What could it possibly be? Why are you so excited? And he's like, mijo, mire, <clears throat> se llama Electoral College. <laughs> you should apply, mijo. You can become president if you go into that school. You can become like Senor Trump. And I'm like, ah, Dad, that's not a college, man. And if it was, I don't think they'd have a very high acceptance rate for brown people, man. <laughs> and if they did, they'd look at my name and be like, Brian Alberto Rojas, wow, you would be perfect for the landscaping department. 
you could work your way up, start a business. I'd be like, oh, business gang? <laughs> I already know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think I'm at two, two minutes up. Uh, I have an Indian girlfriend. She has Indian parents. I have Latino parents. They get along because they're both racist. So it's <laughs> fucking wonderful. I did end up going to India last year experimentally. And I went and my dad was like, mijo, why would you go to India? It's smelly and dangerous. And I'm like, dad, you're smelly and mom has a black eye. So I don't think, I don't, I don't think you can really talk. I ended up going to India. I will say beautiful country, a little bit disorganized. I went to immigration, packed. This guy in front of me, he's like, where are you from? I'm like, I'm from the US. And he's like, oh, okay, good. I thought you were from Pakistan. <laughs> and we here in India, we hate people from Pakistan. And I was like, to be honest, sir, I feel like you guys hate single file lines <laughs> more than you hate people from Pakistan. I will say, this is my last joke. Um, I remember I used to not have any money and I used to not get any pussy and I'd be like, damn man, how are my dick and credit card both getting declined at the same fucking time? That's crazy. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Make some noise for Brian. All right. Before we get into it, where are you from? How long you been doing it? I'm from Manchester, New Hampshire, but I mostly like I'm in I'm in Boston. That's like the closest scene. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, How long you been doing it? I just hit my two years. Oh wow. Make some noise yeah. for him. Two years. Yeah. Hell yeah. You live in the city now? I'm moving to Boston uh, this month. I'm gonna be there for a little bit, and then the plan is like take over there and then come here and try to. Make something of myself, you know? That's why you wrote that bomber joke. Yeah. yeah. It kills in Boston and, and at marathons. But so you know. did the bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You beat me to it. All right. Yeah, no, I was, uh, I think, I liked your set. I thought it was fun. You got a lot of little sneaky little jokes in there. I think you're a fun guy, a little, a little technician. You're definitely on your way for two years. Yeah. All right. Uh, you look like one of Ramona Flowers' evil ex-boyfriends, but uh, <laughs> I did fuck with the set. Uh, what do you guys think? Go first. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, good stuff, man. Two years, that's great. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, it was a little bit uh, in the, with the Boston bomber thing, and then you went into like having like a more Spanish background. Mm. There could be stuff there, like between like getting mistaken for a Middle Eastern yeah. person, you know, like you were kind of touching on some of that stuff. You could maybe flesh that out a bit more. Okay. Um, good callback too with the LLC stuff. That was cool. Snaps for that. Um, but yeah, solid stuff, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I like your, your very absurd uh, jokes. I like it. You, you went into a lot of weird angles. The LLC stuff was very absurd. I liked it. Do you watch Mitch Hepberg? Hedberg? No, I look him up, though. Bro. Okay, because you have a cadence very similar to, to him and how you do your jokes and how they are really absurd. You w threw in the risky domestic abuse joke. Love a risky joke, but it need, you need a heavier punch yeah, yeah. on that to make it worthwhile because it, it kind of deflated a little bit of, yeah. of momentum in your set. But I like you taking risks. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, I like to say, I thought the Boston Bomber joke was a rough opener. for. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if it was, like maybe I'll see it in a different room and it'll uh, get a different reaction, but it didn't immediately like make yeah. me like you. And it might have been because you look so Arab. Like, what were the Boston Bombers? I don't know white? what they look like at yeah, all. I don't know yeah. what they look yeah. like. Yeah. I don't think anybody really knows what well, they look like. I mean, the people who'd seen them, they're gone. That's also <laughs> kind of more of like a premise. You know, you looking like the Boston Bomber. And well, then the I actually, because be. one of my comedian homies, like, he's a host, and mm -hmm. he was like, give it up for the Boston Marathon Bomber, and that killed in Boston. Mm. Right. So I was like, okay, I'll people associate me with him, so I'll, like, but I guess, like, in New York, it doesn't doesn't really yeah. work out. It's like a local joke. I, I like well, that. You, you made it his fault. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you can see how that, that that's just, like, a premise, and then giving me an example of, like, when somebody's treating, like, the Boston Bomber, or, like, a joke of how the – you and the Boston Bomber like overlap for that experience. Oh, okay. Because like, they did, they killed a bunch of people with like pressure cookers. And like being Latino, we make a lot of like soups and stuff with pressure cookers. So maybe I can like. Fuck you know, yeah, I love that direction. They're already, already cooking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, what else are you thinking, man? You got anything you want to no, say? No, I think that's it. All right. What do you think it's score wise? I'm going to give you a six. Hell I thought yeah. you had that, that callback was really good. Uh, but it was very up and down, up and down. Uh, and it like. There, it needed a little more juice, but I, I did like it. Thank mm. you. Yeah, solid seven for me. Mm, solid you. seven, hell yeah. I like uh, I, I like your, your confidence on stage. I thought it was fun, uh, but it definitely felt a little bit green. You got to get these reps up a little bit. You yeah. feel a little, a little nervous right now, yeah. but it, it's okay. You don't got to be nervous. This is a fun environment. He's uh, doing the belly rub thing. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 the yeah you got to gain like 200 pounds to do that. <laughs> it's appropriation for Skinny to belly rub. Mm. It, your fingers shouldn't be making noise over your washboard abs. Oh. 
You know what I mean? Uh, that being said, I think I'm gonna. I'm also gonna give that one a six. So you, uh, you, you're at the top of the leaderboard. You won by one point. Uh, so hell yeah, or two points. Make some noise for uh, for Brian, everybody. Hell yeah. yeah. Got a 19 is the score to beat. Now, are you guys ready for your third comedian of the night? Yeah. All right, let's keep this train going. Make some noise for Jackson Kohler, everybody. Yeah. What's good, guys? How are we? I uh, I work at a restaurant, and the worst part about working at a restaurant for me is dealing with people with allergies. Because like a lot of times, someone will be come in and be like, "Hey, is there bread in this? Is there bread in this?" And I'm just having a rough day, so I'm like, "Nah." And they walk away, and I'm like, "Fuck! Did I just kill somebody? <laughs> like, is it's three o'clock, and I already have blood on my hands?" Like, I heard from someone the other day that if you have a peanut allergy, you can't sign up for the military. And, like, it seems kind of over the top at first, but when you really think about it, it makes sense. Because, like, imagine how bad that would be for morale if they lost a guy that way. <laughs> Just, like, how'd we lose Private Johnson? Did you step on a landmine? No. Ate the wrong sandwich. God damn it. <laughs> War is hell. I've got to start labeling our bags. I've, uh, I've always gotten my hair cut out of salon, but ever since I moved to New York, I've been immersing myself into the world of black barbershops. Kind of the same as a salon. I feel like the only main difference is at the salon, they wouldn't ask me sex questions. Like Rhonda was never shampooing my hair. I'm like, so, you eat ass? <laughs> and they asked me that at the black barbershop. They asked me things like that. Like, the one thing they always do, to, they always ask me like, so, you like black girls? And I do, but like this isn't going to be the place I admit that. I'm not going to be like, no, what? Black girls, not me. Like, I like these guys. I don't want to sour this relationship. Like, I was in the chair so long the other day, the guy asked me to be on his podcast. Like, I'm not. And a lot of times, like, people would just be hanging out at the black barbershop. Like, no one does that. Like, no one's hanging out at the salon. And if they are, like, they're dealt with by the proper authorities. But, like, when someone's hanging, like, so a lot of times it'll be like a black woman hanging out at the barbershop, and they'll be like, so you like black girls? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, what about her? And I'm like, fuck, I guess I'm on a date now. Like, now I have to show these black guys I have riz. I have to impress them. Uh, I've been getting a lot of, like, weird, uh, like, daily routines in my algorithm. Like, I've been getting a lot of, like, people, like, no one's ever doing, like, their daily routine, and it's, like, someone going through it in life. It's always someone just, like, crushing it at life. It's like, woke up, 6 a.m., smoothie, chicken breast, weights. It's never someone that's just like, woke up today, jerked off, smoked weed. It's always like, so I saw this one guy, and he's like, this is day 45 of training for the Olympics. And like, you don't find out what sport he plays until the end of the video. And you find out the sport he plays is fencing. And you're like, dude, give me a break. He needs to lift like all those weights for a fake sword fight? Like, there's nerds doing what he does in a field somewhere with pool noodles for fun. Like, he does, he needs to lift all those weights to play with swords. All right, that's all, you guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Make some noise for Jackson, everybody. Hell, yeah. Remind us where you're from, how long you've been doing it. I've been doing it for two years. I'm from Jupiter, Florida. From Ju are you, if you were from Jupiter, the planet, I would have believed you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you look like a, a baby bell became a real boy. You look like <laughs> that's a wild complexion. Hell yeah! I thought uh, I thought your set was funny, man. I think uh, I think it, it just some things like con contingency wise kind of fucked me up. Like to lie about any uh, allergy and think you might kill someone. Bread's not the one. That just makes people kind of like shit. Well, you're not gonna die from bread. So no. I'd say maybe you gotta find something else. I know like peanuts because you have a joke about it later. It might like fuck that up. Mm -hmm. But it, I think it would hit harder if it was something that might actually kill someone that's like way more specific. I you don't can know. pick something funnier like Brazil nuts or something. <laughs> There's like a funnier specific thing. Okay. Shrimp. Yeah, shrimp's more fun to say. Allium? Oh, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Do, you, <laughs> do, you, uh, do you fuck black girls? I haven't yet, but I'm working on it, though. <laughs> I'm getting around to it. <laughs> this is less of a set and more of just manifestation. Right yeah, now. of course. Is there any black women in the somewhere. audience who want to sleep with this man <laughs> right now? All right. All right. We got a dude. You want to? Uh, All right. All right. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. I think uh, I think it was a little bit rough. Is it like a new bit? 
Uh, it's new ish, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna you gotta run that bitch through the works a little bit more. It, it felt like pretty new. There's a lot of fat you gotta trim on that, but it's, I do like your delivery. I thought it was fun. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I thought there was some solid premises. I liked where you were going with some of the stuff and went directions I didn't expect. Uh, I thought it felt a little robotic. I could tell you were nervous. You were stumbling at times. Sometimes you were bringing in like preambles that didn't really turn into other things, and it left yeah. me asking questions. And I was I was losing track of where you were going on it. Um, so I would just be like, just like relax a bit, calm down, take a breath before you go on, and like kind of structure what you want to say in a five minute thing a little bit m- clearer. Okay. Um, but uh, but also it's like you're only two years in, so the, all that stuff will come with time. Yeah, I was thinking uh, for your f- first bit with the the restaurant and the allergies. What are you trying to s- in that joke? Like, what are you trying to say about yourself? Do you think? Mm, I don't know, cause it's not it's not like about me. It's about like people in the military with allergies. Oh, shit, we walked all these people. <laughs> <laughs> now you can say what you really feel about. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I have no idea, honestly. Okay. Well, like there, there must be some reason why you thought that that was like a peculiar thing that happened. I, it's just because it annoys me because I'm at work all the time and it bothers me. Like people asking me about it. That's what you gotta like. Do right. To. But then you also recognize that it's like important for their like lively, like continued survival yeah. type thing. So there, I don't know. Maybe there's like some. I don't know. You might want to explore like why you came to that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. To the people in the back, we can hear you. How about you cool it down just a little bit? Uh, I don't know. Last thing, I guess. Have you seen American Psycho? Yeah. You look like Patrick Master Batesman. <laughs> 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 All right. What are you guys thinking score-wise? Unless you got one, you want to fire one off back at me. <laughs> um, no, I don't have uh, one. That's all right. Right, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a four. I'm gonna give you a four. I thought there was it was a little choppy at times. He had a couple pops, but it needs a uh, needs a little more work. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at a six. Probably. You're gonna go for a six. I'm also gonna go for a four. Uh, so you're still on the leaderboard right now. You got 14. Make some noise for him, everybody. Yeah. All right, keep it going for him as Jackson gets off the stage, and let's keep that energy going into the next comic. Make some noise for Alexis Cristaldi, everybody. <laughs> talking about sex with my parents. I've been, I've been getting into it. No, I leave the room. I leave the room immediately the minute it comes up. I can't, who else likes talking about sex with their parents? Exactly, it's awkward as fuck, is it not? I can't, the minute it even comes on the TV, I'm out the fucking door. I'm like, I need to go to the bathroom, I need to get some snacks, you guys need anything? Not in a hosting way, I'm not hosting porno time with my parents. <laughs> I'm not like milk duds, dad. I know you like a chewy chocolatey snack for the fuck scene. Like that's not what's going on. I think it would be funny if porn was the way our parents introduced us to sex though. Like you come home from school and there's just a slew of porno parodies of your favorite childhood classics. Horror the Explorer maybe. Jam it in the giant peach, perhaps. <laughs> Girthy Cox in the three bears, you guys. Come on, let's fuck. I'd go with Toy Story. I'd be like, they fucked up. They put a normal one in it. Turns out it's just like a POV shot of like dildos and vibrators, right? Like, Andy is still playing with Woody and Buzz, just not in the way that we expected, you guys. I got that D in me. Depression, <laughs> you know? It's been difficult. It's been hard. My friends are like, get out, go do something, get some tickets for stuff. So that's what I've been doing. I've been racking up the parking tickets. Uh, It's getting out of control. I can't, it's not because I'm depressed and don't give a fuck about where I'm putting the car. It is the gambling addiction, right? When you're walking to your vehicle and you're like, did I get a golden ticket? And when you don't, you're like, I've got a golden twinkle in my eye. (sighs) Getting the ticket makes you feel like an oompa loompa doompa dee dunt. I'm going to tell you that. It's so easy not to get the ticket, you guys. But goddamn, is it fun to play the game. Am I right? (laughs) 
Permit parking, meters, tow zones, you guys, motherfucker, I am playing those slots every single day, baby. Can't help myself. And it takes so goddamn long to find a space in the city. You could build an Ikea dresser in the amount of time it takes you to find a spot. Next time I'm looping more than twice, you guys, I'm driving my ass into the CVS, all right? I don't give a fuck about parking tickets. I want moving violations, you guys. What's up the ante? I am all impounded, right? My car getting jacked is my jackpot. You guys, my name's Alexis Cristaldi. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, keep it going for Alexis, everybody. All right, remind these guys where you're from and how long you've been doing it. Boston, I've been doing it. I just hit my year. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. She won this one before. Right, yeah, right. yeah. What's your guys' impression, man? Uh, you want to go? Yo, you go. You, you go. No, I think you're great. You know, you got a uh, really great energy. I mean, your stage presence is great. I mean, your material, like, obviously needs to come up to, like, match your energy. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, like, that stuff was, like... It's your, my, like... So, like, the first five that I did was, like, my tight five. Then the week before was, like, my next. And then this is, like, my... Third, like my, you know what I mean? No, I get yeah, it, dude. Yeah. You've only been doing it for a year. <laughs> to have like 15 minutes of comedy is like impossible, dude. Mm -hmm. No, I think your delivery is great. I think your energy is great. I think it takes, uh, it takes a lot of confidence to be able to tell jokes in the way that you do. I love the way that you try to tag everything you do with like a couple punches up top. Uh, that's smart. Like a lot of people are just not doing it so simple. You can get a lot of laughs rolling with it. Um, I think that the sex with the parents thing took a little too long to start. Like if it's going to be an opener, you got to like look for like a pop within like that first 15 yeah. seconds to get it going. Not really having to ask the audience about it or anything. I think opening with sex stuff can be a little weird unless it's like crazy. But mm -hmm. um, I would say trim the fat on that a little bit. Try to figure out how you can get to the funny part just immediately. I like the uh, introducing us to porn thing as a uh, as a concept. I thought it was really great. The sex toy thing though, sex toy story i think that that might be a little traverse ground like we've mm. seen some memes about that okay. one so i'd stay away from that one but everything that you did before was uh it was really good thank you yeah what are you guys thinking yeah uh i think when you're a great yeah stage presence has already been said but you're like you're commanding the stage very well uh say hello when you get up there you went up and went right into material greet the audience a little bit first can make it feel a little bit less like a performance and more just like we're hanging out mm -hmm. because i feel like you have that kind of hangout energy i think that's the only thing i can add that hasn't been covered i also yeah. think like uh you you come out with big energy and then if you see that the crowd sometimes isn't like following you yeah. like you try to go down to meet them yeah. but in some cases actually just keep driving the energy and make them come to you okay you know because then if you you, you don't want to you don't want to make them feel like you don't want them to feel like oh this person should be like you disconnected from the energy that you brought initially yeah you know so just keep just keep pounding them even if it makes you feel insane just fucking keep like going. double down double down on yeah. it yeah yeah you, you can acknowledge it like what's wrong with you guys and then just like be like what's let's go yeah there yeah. you go <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely yeah Hell yeah. Thanks, I like that. I like what you're doing. I'm going to give that one a 6.5. I'm going to go we with a 6. 6? What are you thinking? Yeah, probably like a 7. Something probably like, like a 7? Okay, well, you're on the leaderboard. Make some noise for Alexis Cristaldi, everybody. Yeah. Wow. Let me do some quick math. 13, 19.5. All right, 19.5 from Alexis. Are you guys ready for your next com comic yeah. of the night? Yeah. Keeping this train going. Put your hands together right now for, I think this says Ion Smith. Oh, Avion. Avion. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. What's happening, y'all? So a uh, little thing about me is that I'm Asian. And I like being Asian because I feel like we finally defeated almost every single stereotype. Like, Asians can't drive. We've all seen Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. <laughs> and uh, another one is that Asian people, we're kind of like a weak, a weak group. Because I understand. I mean, we're some small motherfuckers. Ignore Yao Ming. But, um, but um, ever since Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee dropped, I felt like everyone has had to think twice about us. Like, you might look at us and be like, okay, I could take him, unless he knows karate. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably the worst one of all is that uh, Asian people eat cats and dogs. That one's true. But I said almost every stereotype. But here's what I'll say. We've been able to pinpoint exactly where it happens, so not all of Asia gets the blame. So in China, they eat cats. And in Korea, they eat dogs. You guys can actually all trust me on that, because I've been to both places twice. That's how good it tasted. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, another thing about me is uh, I was a history major in college. I wanted to be a teacher until I realized I wanted to make a living 
Um, and uh, and uh, I know I'm serious. If teachers got paid more, I'd be teaching right now. And, and there was a slogan growing up called No Child Left Behind. And I thought that was really cool until I realized we were going to leave every fucking teacher behind. Um, and another thing about that slogan, No Child Left Behind, I'm pretty sure we can all think of at least one person growing up who deserved to be left behind, actually. Um, yeah, college was fun. I met a lot of cool people. I met a lot of weird people, too. I had a roommate in college who didn't really know how to handle stress all that well. And whenever he got really stressed out, he'd get really drunk and cheat on his girlfriend, which I didn't have a problem with. She was a bitch. <laughs> but uh, my issue was, in the morning, he would wake up and blame me. And this time, he went too far. He said, Avion, if it were you, I would have stopped you. So I looked at him in the face and said, look, whenever I go through stuff, I deal with it like a man. It's not my fault that when you go through stuff, you sleep with one. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, another, another thing after uh, college, I ended up dropping out of college three years in. And when I got home, my dad had a lot of suggestions. He was a Marine for 20 plus years, so of course he suggested military service. He said, Avion, I think you should join the Coast Guard. And I just think it's crazy for a guy that flew helicopters and had missiles and bullets flying at him his whole life suggests that I be a glorified lifeguard. <laughs> Dad, just call me a pussy. <laughs> um, one benefit of coming home, though, was I got to hang out with my best friend, Jordan. And when I came back, he invited me out to a gay club. And as a straight man, I feel like I have to explain how I ended up at a gay club, because if I don't explain how I ended up at a gay club, then it's gay. Um, so basically, his girlfriend has a gay friend. It's his birthday, blah, blah. He needs a wingman. So I'm out there, and I'm actually having a great time. I'm on the dance floor getting jiggy. And all of a sudden, someone grabs my ass. So I turn around and go, yo, fuck you, asshole. And then he looks at me and goes, great suggestion. <laughs> OK, I'm maybe on Smith. Thank you. All right, hell yeah. Make some noise for Avion. Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, San Diego, and I hit my year probably like a week ago. Oh, hell yeah. Make some noise for a year. Hell yeah, dude. All right, what's your uh, what's your opinion? My opinion? Yeah, how uh, you feeling? Again, say hello, guys. Greet the audience. Going right in the material feels stiff, feels weird. Slow down, dude. Yeah. Going really fast. Gay bar thing, not gay. Are you sure, dude? You might? <laughs> you might be gay. Another element to the comedy. Uh, <laughs> also, also, uh, you say you were talking about, um, oh, the girlfriend's a bitch. Uh, there was another thing you uh, you brought up where it was like you you reference these people and then you just kind of moved on from it. Mm -hmm. It's like why is she a bitch? Tell me okay. why she the the thing with the the kid in the school. You're like oh like we all had a shitty person. You got a story about that? Some kid who fucking I don't know stabbed you with a pencil or something. Mm -hmm. Like you're bringing up these things and then I'm like Whoa, who are these people? And you're not there's bits there too that of you course. can make that funny. Um, a lot of wordplay, a little corny. A little corny at times. Gotcha. Like, uh, I don't know, be like meaner or something. I want like more, a little more personality or something. Yeah, I can yeah. do that, yeah. Thank yeah. you for advice. No I problem. appreciate that. You sure you're not gay? Like a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't explored it, no. You went to the gay clubs. You explored a little bit. I had to look out for my homie. Okay. That's not gay. <laughs> Riley's bisexual in the back. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to out you in any way. But I'm just saying you're in the place. This is Brooklyn. You know, this might be the best place to try a little something. Your parents like named you Avion. Like they want you to try it. Like it's a little bit. They would have named you like Steve if they didn't want you. You want. Know, they wanted the pussy fucker. They'd name their kid like Jason or some shit. That's funny. That's my middle name. Huh? Is it? Yeah, it's my middle name. Oh, that's why you're conflicted. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, oh, that should have been my first name. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I think that you got to, like, like what he said, when you got to, like, where are you going with things? You had this joke about no child, like, left behind. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why, like, what child is left behind? Same thing that he was saying, like, where is this story going? I felt like there was a lot of premises that you didn't follow up on. I think that you could trim the fat on some of the things that you did up top with the Asian stereotypes, like the, uh, like the Tokyo Drift thing, like, was hitting. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was, seemed like it was just, like, you are just kind of adding space to get to like the you go to China twice right Joe which is very funny I thought that was great I also think it is interesting that you're a college dropout and then you became a teacher I think that there are like interesting things about you that you just need to explore a little bit more that I didn't see out of the set and, uh, well, I appreciate that but number one thing is you just got to get a little bit more comfortable it felt a little bit too like 
high school presentation with mm-hmm. your words. You got to like, like even talking to you now, you've been funny in the conversation. So like you got to work on loosening up, but that'll come with time. You've only been doing it for a year. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely uh, still feel it. You're still feeling it out. Uh, I was going to give you a 10 out of 10 for being Asian, but you call me Yao Ming, so I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm well, when he walked up, I was actually, I was like, holy fuck. Like, I have this whole joke, and then you said something about your race being small. I'm like, dude, I got to I gotta point it out. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. lesson learned. You don't always need to pull it out. Uh, no, uh, but uh, I love a good dog-eating joke. Um, but, you know, you want to go a little bit further with it. Okay. Just the fact that you eat dog is like, okay, funny, shocking thing. But then, like... Where's the, where's the rest of you know where's the thing that makes it yours like because mm-hmm. we any Asian could stand up there and talk about how much dog we've eaten yeah sure you know but <laughs> exactly no I agree you wanna, completely you want to see like uh, what what what's your dog joke you know right, I don't know right I think that goes along with what he said the whole like kind of corny thing too I get that yeah um, but just sure. like you know what like always go towards like what's specific to you and like what you feel that'll that'll be the best stuff awesome well thank you yeah hell yeah what are you guys thinking score wise I'm gonna give you a three. A little stiff. A little, needs a little work. Well, yeah, that's what I'm gonna go through. Hell with. yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a four just because I really like the going there twice joke. I thought that shit was fun. Cool. Thank what you. are you thinking? Yeah, I'll give you like a, a six. Cool. You give sure. you a six. Hell yeah. All right. So you got a 13. Didn't quite make the leaderboard, but make some noise for Avion, everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're We're too nice, dude. <laughs> It's all giving, right. You're giving these to these softball six sevens. Everybody needs hope. No, dude, you're being too fucking nice to these kids. <laughs> yeah, let Break know, their dude. fucking spirit a bit, bro. <laughs> Most of them aren't even going to make it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that guy didn't even make it through college, dude. He's not going to. He doesn't commit. I'm just fucking with you. All right, you guys ready for your next comic? Put your hands together for James Tanford, everybody. What's happening, everybody? I'm doing great. There's some good news for me, actually. I'm currently in the first happy and healthy relationship in my life. It's going great. Thank you. Thank you very much. My ex and I got back together, and we're doing great. (laughs) No, not again. No, I'm single. I was on... I'm trying. I was on the apps for a while, but I stopped. Like, Hinge just sucks. Hinge sucks so much that I'm just back to fucking coworkers. you know? <laughs> it's easier, dude. I'm too earnest on the apps, because I don't know any of these women, you know? Like, okay, Hinge has this question, right, that it's essentially like, do you do hard drugs? And it has a picture of a pill, you know what I'm talking about? And nobody told me that nobody says yes to that. Nobody does, dude. I have a friend who's OD'd twice on Xanax, and he put sometimes, you know? It's not good, dude. Too earnest, man. I'm trying. It's hard to know, like, how to be, like, I'm too on it. Like, okay, I got offered a threesome one time, one time, and it was, I got this photo of this girl I know and her friend. And then there was a text underneath, and it was like, hey, what would you do if we both came over and gave you dome right now? And it was cool, but, like, it was 2 in the morning. I was drunk, so I was honest. And I was like, whew, I'd be overwhelmed. <laughs> hey, <dude. laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get the three-way appeal. Like, I've never been, like, you know, like, at a bar, like, trying to talk to a woman and thought, I wish there were more. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I don't care. I don't even like sex, dude. I don't. I like jerking off better. Is that a hot take? Does anybody, like, with my anxiety, you know, like, it, I'm just, if I'm having sex, I'm constantly in my head wondering if it's actually good enough for my partner, you know? But I'm telling you, every time I finish jerking off, I think, Crushed it, dude. <laughs> Knocked it out of the park. Home run. Home run. I don't know. A lot of women in my life. My mom and I are close. We had a kiss on the lips till <laughs> I was 14 when that stopped, which is too old for that, as it turns out. I got caught doing it by a friend. That's how it fully stopped, which that's so embarrassing because there's no way to talk your way out of that. You know, my friend immediately was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, just thinking about your mom the whole time, you know? <laughs> All right, I'll end on that one. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, dude. Make some name, make some noise for James, everybody. Yeah.
Oh, dude, that was fucking great. Thanks. Hell yeah. All right. Dude, you, your eye contact is wild. You got to like look away from me for a second. Yeah, yeah dude, you got to... Give, yeah, give me my score now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh, also, one thing I'm going to say about your set that was great is like you know how to come on the stage and you know how to get off the stage. Having a good opener and having a good closer is really important. You entered with great energy and you left with great energy. That was a great set. Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, Indiana. And I just hit um, right around five years oh wow indiana Ooh. that place fucking sucks dude <laughs> yeah that's why i'm here yeah how, lo how long have you been in the city was it all in indiana or was it all yeah, yeah. i did like four years in indiana and then moved out here probably like eight months ago when is it july august yeah oh eight, yeah well eight, welcome months. to the city Thanks. dude i don't really have many notes for you i thought that that was really fucking funny drugs sometimes was that's my joke <laughs> of the night so far that was fucking great what are you guys thinking uh only thing shorts Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so know. I don't care. I don't care. But so, like some clubs will be like, because that you're that's where you're going is you're gonna start performing at clubs and shit. Um, so they'll be like, what you you'll get like banned from clubs for wearing shorts. Yeah, especially uh, when yeah. you got no ass, dude. Yeah, <laughs> no ass. Yeah, Negative dude. ass. Negative. You could probably got like a seatbelt on your toilet so you don't fall off when you uh -huh. take a shit. No ass, <laughs> dude. It's all um, right. But um, the. Uh, the, uh, uh, what was one when you when you said something about getting caught by your friend uh, kissing your mom? I just like that concept of getting caught. It's like you you are conscious that you're hiding it from people, <laughs> and so I just dig into that. I, I there's a tag or something there, but it, the joke is already fucking incredible. But I just love the idea of you sneakily kissing your mom <laughs> so your friends don't find out. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, besides that, yeah, that I would uh, I think yeah, you smashed it, dude. Yeah, I would agree. You you definitely killed it. I mean, uh, your whole. It was there, there was a lot of, t you were really tight, and like, uh, I, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're really tight and moist. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, uh, I thought your body motions were good, and uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no, like you, you had good, really good presence, and uh, yeah, I could tell you've been doing it for a little bit, so great job. And the jokes were tight, too. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys thinking score-wise? Uh, I'm gonna give you a nine. Yeah. Ooh. Lots of praise. What are you thinking? I'll give you an eight. You're gonna give him an eight. I'm also gonna give you a nine. That's the highest score of the night. So make some noise for James, everybody. Good job. 26 is now the score to beat. I'm going to the bucket. You guys might need to banter for a couple of seconds because there's a lot of repeat. Oh, oh fucking. Oh, what happened today? What was that? Oh, did you guys see that boxer that everyone that thought had a penis? Right what do you guys think about that, huh? Controversial, eh? Yes, it was. You ready for the next comedian? <laughs> <laughs> All right, put your hands together for Brandon Higgins, everybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Um, I'm a Mets fan. I, I don't recommend it if you could avoid it. When I bought this hat, I was hoping to fur further ex obscure that by becoming a backwards hat guy. Realized very quickly it's a specific kind of white boy who can pull off the backwards uh, baseball hat. Forwards, I look relatively stable, right, you know? Maybe I got a girlfriend, maybe I'm married, maybe I got kids, maybe they love me, right? It's in the cards. Hat goes backwards, my ass is divorce, okay? No custody, kids wanna use their mom's last name, you know? I look, I look like a guy in a death metal band who would gladly call the cops on his own death metal band, you know? Officer raging too fucking hard once again. Um, I look like a mechanic's Nepo baby, you know? My, uh, my dad was fixing your car for 20 years, but he's in Florida, so guess who has some learning on the job to do? Um, I look like a tattoo artist who would judge you the entire time he's giving you the tattoo, you know? Kind of just sitting there like, you must love your mom, man, you know? Did you ask if she liked tattoos before she died? Or, uh, I guess not. Uh, I'll be going back forwards uh, for everybody's sake. Um, I was talking to my financial advisor this week. Uh, you know, it's been a tough week for the markets. He gave me some rough news that I'm dealing with. He said, if I ever want to retire, I am unfortunately going to have to marry rich. Anybody else dealing with this problem? No, he, he technically said I'm going to have to fuck my way out of it. So if anybody wants a day or eight weekend, we could uh, test drive the car before you take it home. Um, but yeah, you know, he gave me some advice. You know, he said, Look for uh, first girls with uh, beach houses. You know, they sell that first if things are going wrong. But uh, 
Folks, would you believe it? I can't find a girl with a beach house in New York City. Oh, no. I don't know where the hell they are. Um, he, he gave me some other advice. He, he, uh, he, he said, you know, international women oftentimes come in here with a boatload of money. Not necessarily universally true, right? You know, you have, uh, you know, like my grandmother, uh, poor thing, orphan at 14, came over from Ireland. Six siblings, got them all jobs, got them all settled. You know, real kind of American dream where ideally the girls I'm looking for have grandparents so rich and evil, they're the reason everybody else from their country had to immigrate to the United States. You know, I'm not looking for the girl who's uh, saving up money, paying her rent, and, and sending money back home. I'm looking for the girl where everybody's like, how does she pay her rent, you know? Um, well, anyway, if you think you might be my type, uh, come buy me a drink after the show, thanks. <laughs> All right, hell yeah. Brandon, where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, Jersey, and uh, I'm not going to comment on that, so I can borrow it. All right, cool. I like, your, I like your technique. It's like if I keep talking fast, they won't notice there's no jokes in here. <laughs> it's a sick way to go, dude. You gotta... those, those jokes do well elsewhere. I don't know. I, you were going way too fast. The rushing was the thing. I don't know why you were so... It was nervous, excitement. It felt like it was your first weekend with the kids, and you just wanted to get it right. Like, you got to... Fucking loosen up a little bit, man. You were a bullet train up there. That's it. That's all. That. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I like. I like some of it. Uh, I think um, you can always restructure. I look like jokes into other types of jokes, so it's not so repetitive. Like I look like I look like. Because you're always you're always like finding a connection between yourself and something else. So just restructuring those to to give yourself some more variety. And uh, I would avoid. I mean, you don't have to take this advice, but I would avoid clothing bits mm -hmm. just because if you don't have the hat, you can't do the bits. And also, everybody knows, like, you made the choice for the hat anyways. So why are you, like, commenting on a choice you made? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Uh, I don't think they gave you enough love on the mechanic Nepo baby joke. I thought that was funny. I did think that was funny. Every, uh, every time I do car bits, some guy is like, well, if you do a car bit in New York, nobody's ever driven a car before. I'm like, no, I don't know. People know what a mechanic is. <laughs> <laughs> People are aware. Uh, I just I thought they get, but yeah, you were very stiff, very rehearsed. It just like kept going, kept going. Um, you did have to follow a smash, which is tough. Uh, some of your jokes just had way too much uh, preamble and build up. Uh, you, where you could cut a lot of fat off of them, uh, and too many ums, too many ahs, uh, kind of bouncing around. It, it was, it was, it just wasn't clean enough. Yeah. 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 All right. But yeah. your energy's good. I like, like when you came up to the stage, your presence. You seem like a fun guy. You said so. hello. Yeah. yeah. You did that. Yeah. yeah. The vibes yeah. in here are wild right now. I just <laughs> want to point out. <laughs> I think it's my fault. I, I, maybe I was mean up top to him. It's okay. Uh, I mean, the last guy killed. It must have been me, right? I, there's, you know, I don't know. No. <laughs> These guys are dying to talk about the gender of that boxer. That's what it is. <laughs> we need a good tense subject to bring the room together. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys thinking score-wise? Uh, I'm going to give you a four. I'm going to give you a four. There was like bits there that I liked, but uh, nothing really came together. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go three. I think that the delivery was just it was too fast. I was trying really hard to like follow along what you were doing. A lot of ums going on in there. I think if you slowed it down, it could have been like a much higher thing. But you got to give your punchlines like room to breathe or else we don't know when to laugh, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to like a five probably. Five. All right. Well, you didn't quite uh, didn't quite make the leaderboard, but make some noise for him, everybody, as he gets yeah. off stage. Oh man, you want to keep bantering about? Huh? You got one more that yeah, you gotta yeah, get yeah. out of here for sure. Um, okay. Put your hands together for Anam Chowdhury, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. How are we feeling? Hell yeah. So uh, a little bit about me. I actually moved back to New York from the Midwest. Anyone here from the Midwest? Yeah. So one thing, and I'm going to use these guys as witnesses <laughs> because I want to tell you guys something I learned because I did a lot of comedy all over. Uh, and one thing I learned about people from the Midwest is that these guys fucking love ranch. <laughs> it's it's creepy. Can you guys confirm, please? Like, I'm not lying. <laughs> they love. It's disgusting. Like, they put ranch on eggs. It's, d yeah, no, um, I mean, if they could, they would use ranch as lube. 
<laughs> they would use ranch as a two, three in one shampoo conditioner seasoning if they could. I've tried it. And I'm actually selling some bottles up front later if you guys want to try. But yeah, I moved to the Midwest to become a teacher. Shout out to me, okay? And uh, no one gives a fuck <laughs> about teachers in this room anymore after last week. I <laughs> that's an inside joke for everyone in the room. Um, so so I, I started teaching six years ago, and one thing, I, lo I love the kids, okay? Every year I have a great group of kids. They all have different personalities. Last year, I had one kid who I saw like five times the whole school year. Love this kid, okay? But uh, I only saw him five times because he had an ankle monitor. <laughs> and uh, one day, like I, I try to motivate this kid to do great, but like he would keep interrupting my class. One day he interrupted to let the class know that he's converting to Islam. <laughs> and I'm Muslim, but I'm like, this is not my doing. <laughs> this is not my fault. I didn't encourage this. Uh, let's try to convert that F to an A first. How about that? <laughs> You know, um, all I'm saying is if you guys don't fund the public schools, we're going to have to worry about the school to prison to Islam pipeline. <laughs> and uh, I'm okay with that. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, it's no big deal. Just Osama's dream. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, I, I love teaching, but, like, I know every year the kids get bored and they're always like, when are we ever going to use this, Miss Chowdhury? And I'm like, you know what? You're fucking right. <laughs> Why do I need to teach you about global warming? Like, do you really need to know the mechanics of how you're going to burn alive in the next 10 years? <laughs> Seems kind of cruel and unusual. Um, but, like, I'd rather be teaching them about, like, dinosaurs, right? Dinosaurs, fucking cool shit you ever learn about. You guys fuck with dinosaurs? Yeah. <sighs> it's not exciting enough for me. Um, all right. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end on this. You guys, you, uh, so everyone here went to public school, I'm assuming. That's why we're all here. <laughs> yeah, every year in public school, we have to learn about Christopher Columbus for some fucking reason, right? Like, everybody hates Chris. Why are we, why are we learning about that guy? Um, yeah, but they keep teaching us about the Nina the Pinta, the Santa Maria. Why are we learning about boat naming culture in elementary school? <laughs> Our trajectory is school to prison, not school to yacht club. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, make some noise for Anam, everybody. Remind these guys where you're from and how long you've been doing it. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, dude. <laughs> Respect. Thank Hell yeah. You. <laughs> how are you feeling about it? Uh, in my head, it was so much better. I think I didn't plan the time. I, I wrote something new, and I didn't, like, I tried to Which ask... Which one was new? I don't remember. Oh, it's all right. There was, like, a bunch of things, actually, I was trying out, and I didn't do any of the stuff that I actually wanted to, so... Whatever, you know. All right. <laughs> yeah, happened. What do you, guys, you guys feel? Are you, like, newer, too? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I think, uh... <laughs> 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 Hold on, I'm just changing everything I'm saying yeah, in my head. No, uh, no, no, I'm just kidding. The, uh, this is just sad at this point. Just I out. noticed like uh, some parts of your jokes, uh, too much information is in your head and yeah. not like out out loud. Okay. Like for example, the ranch joke. Yes. Right. You're just you're you're calling out that Ms. Westerners use a lot of ranch, but like, why is that interesting to you? Mm -hmm. Where does it come up in your life? Okay. Like these are the kind like, it can be a peculiar thing that they use a ton of ranch, but like, why are you telling us that? Okay. And like, why is that important for you? I think like. That stuff is all in your head, and it needs to be out. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that um, perspective. Thank you. Yeah, I think, there, yeah, there's just a lot of preamble on uh, on your jokes. Like the ranch one, you go, I lived in the Midwest. Who here lives in the Midwest? Can you guys confirm the ranch thing? You can literally be like, I lived in the Midwest. They love ranch like it's crazy. They use it, put it on eggs. They use it as lube. Like you could just right. go boom, boom, boom. Okay, like, okay. That joke goes right okay. down to like a 30-second bit. Thank um, you. you did the same thing with the kids. Like mm -hmm. I have new classes. I love them all, but they're like uh, they're new every year. Like and then the, then you got to the ankle yeah, monitor. There I was just that. a lot of stuff that can be squished down. Uh, also, when you did your global warming joke, I couldn't tell your stance on because you were like, like, oh yeah, why do you need to know this stuff? Almost like in a way where you're like, yo, you're gonna die uh -huh. in, in climate change. Right. But then you were like, I would rather teach them about dinosaurs. So it's like, oh, does she actually? What's her stance on this? I couldn't figure out where your direction was if you were like, yeah, this actually is lame. Let's talk about dinosaurs, which I think is a funny approach. Okay. Um, but I couldn't – But your, your tone never switched. It yeah. was all the same expression for that entire chunk. Because I knew I fucked up. Okay. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't the direction I wanted to go. I had a new bit for the Christopher Columbus bit, and I couldn't get into it because I, I fucked up. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
happens to the best of us. <laughs> I'm going to call every Midwestern yep. comic I know and figure out how long you've been doing stand-up for. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to post it on social media. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Dimitri, is your words. Oh, wait, I was just going to say they, don't, they are not going to know who she is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking that. with you. I'm fucking with you. He's chill out. Uh, Come on. Uh, you just hate the fact that I roasted you like so many times. You please roast me again. No, I don't have one for you today. You don't have one? No, not today. You want me to make one for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, let me hear it. I, I need I need it. I need to be humbled. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just looking all over your body for a Nightmare Before Christmas tattoo. I just... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my is God. There Jack oh, yeah. Skellington, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm going to get one right here. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, in terms of like the scoring wise, on a lower note, I think you got to trim the fat on it. Mm. Keep working. I see what you're doing. You come here every week. You know, I respect your hustle. Yeah. You're on your way. You're definitely way more comfortable on stage from the last couple of times I've seen you. She's been on the show like five times. Mm. So I'll give you, you know, props on the delivery. I think you just got to trim it. That being yeah. said, I'm gonna give that one. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a three point five. Wow. I'll give it a five. Hell okay, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to give her four. All right. Hell yeah. Didn't fair, quite fair, make the leaderboard. Honor, but make right, some noise you. for her. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, Che has to get out of here. We I took a little go. bit too long to start. But make some noise for Che for being here, everybody. Thank you, thank you thank so you, much. Thank you. I'll see you guys all. Bye. Bye. All right. Now, Yells. I, you're my friend, and I know I said that I would bring you up, but he's too nice, and I know that you're nice. So, huh? I know I, I gotta trust my intuition here. I gotta bring up somebody who can match Che's energy. I'm gonna have to ask Rowie Rosen to join the panel of judges. But you know what? Do three minutes first because you, 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 well, well, you can judge Rowie's set with us. But yeah, here's three minutes from Rowie Rosen, wow. everybody. Hello. This doesn't Hi. count towards the 13 comedians wow. we're pulling. First of all, I want my $10 back. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Another thing, this sucks because I really need $210. You're right still now. in the competition, buddy. <laughs> oh, that, great. I'm just going to score everyone after me low. Ha 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 ha. Okay, material. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Had a lot of very important friends. He had friends who were doctors, scientists, politicians, lawyers. Um, and what's interesting about it is that any time a reporter would ask these people, why are you hanging out with known pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, they would have the same answer. They all had the same excuse. The excuse was, well, I was at a party and he came up to me and he just had so much charisma that I couldn't help but befriend him. And it's like, I, I'm sorry, you're telling me you're hanging out with a pedophile because he has swag? That's what you're saying? As if Jeffrey Epstein walked up in this party like, what's good? <laughs> you want a White Claw? You know, and he's like, he's like, ain't no laws when you drink a White Claws. <laughs> or for that matter, on my island. Uh -huh. You know, and then, and, then, and then he's like, and he's like, yo, yo, I'm trying to fuck some kids, bro. I'm on demon time right now. And the scientist is like, did you just say you want to have sex with children? And then Jeffrey Epstein's just like, one way to find that out. And then he just moonwalks <laughs> out of the room. Uh, and then the scientist, he's just standing there and he's just like, that was the coolest guy I've ever met. That was the coolest guy. Well, maybe that's weird now, but that's Bill Gates' real alibi. <laughs> and Stephen Hawking, Trump, who else? I know this room, this is Williamsburg, we know who's on the flight list. <laughs> Comics, I know you know who's on the flight list. <laughs> Demetrius, you missed that shit like, like fucking a matrix, like the matrix. Like you missed the fucking flight log just by like... <laughs> that was a sweet, <laughs> yo. It's funny to call your friends pedophiles. I don't know why the the tension in this room is so fucking high. I could take a knife and I could cut a slice of tension. Do you feel that? It's profound. 
I feel like I'm following a guy who came up here and said the N-word. This is crazy. David Copperfield. David, oh, who the fuck is David? Oh, is he on the list? Yeah. Who is that? He's not even important enough to be on that list. Make some noise for Joey Rosen, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro, what the fuck was that? Why'd you do that? What? Why'd you do that? Do what? Why'd you do that? My material isn't working. I don't know. What are you talking about? You have other jokes. Why'd you do that one? I was going to do another one. You should have did the other one. Oh, do you want me to do it? I'll no, do the other one. No, it's too late. Oh. They've already de- they've I want my $10 it. back. You're not getting your $10. You got to have a genuine try, and then you did that. Why'd you do that? What do you mean? I, I feel like everyone had fun. Did we? not have fun together oh yo no that's another contestant this is rigged not no, the game it's not, the game dude, is not that rigged was a fucking, that was the a... game is not rigged but i feel like we all had such a lovely time right and then when we and remember when i acknowledged the awkwardness and then we all were like oh my god it is awkward that was so much fun that we had together as a room dude you sound like that dude who's like i don't know why these girls don't call me back we just... We have so much fun. Every I am that so guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> That's why I sound like that. Oh, my God. It's okay, buddy. Uh, we rank the set, not the comic, but that was rough. I think fuckboy Jeffrey Epstein is a very funny premise. I think that you just got to open it up in a different way that gets us on board in it, uh, a little bit. Were you not on board with the... Uh, I'm on board with fucking whatever, but the audience was not. It didn't go over oh, well. Yes. And you, it was very interesting to be like, what's going on? Why is this tension? Like, it was cool to watch you try to discover what bombing was. Like, while you were on stage, you're like, what is this feeling? Oh, I, I know understand. it well. I know it well, brother. Yeah. Oh, I know the noble bomb, and yeah. she knows me. Dude. Uh, but yeah, man, you got to reorder that just to get us, like, on board. I think. I don't know what it was about it, but it, it, it was something. Uh, you, you know, I feel. Of? You know what? I feel like actually it wasn't my fault at all. <laughs> and sometimes it's just in in God's hands. <laughs> and that's what happened. Damn, you're almost as charismatic as Jeffrey. Has. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know it's crazy. And I could. I probably couldn't convince. Okay, I probably a few people in this room I could convince oh. to do some terrible things, but. All right. Yeah, we'll stick around for Rowie after the yeah. show if you want to dive into the darkness yeah. of the human psyche. Well, what do you think, I, I cut you off. What? No, you didn't. Oh. You didn't cut me off. No, you didn't cut me off. Sorry. How long? How much longer is this? Huh? There's like two more comics oh, okay. after this. I liked it, man. Yeah, that's that's normally what somebody says after they go. How much longer is this? <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much longer is this? No, that was actually I had no, so I much fun. It. I liked it, man. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Yeah, is it weird that you guys are boys and then he, he invented the show to be able to judge you to your face? <laughs> I don't I need like the show. I don't need the show. I can do that regardless. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he could ju- he'll judge me anyway. Um, please give me a good score. I really want two hundred dollars. <laughs> and I spent ten dollars. Think about that. Mm. Because you're gonna be on the panel of judges, I'm just gonna let those three guys choose your score. One, two, and three. Oh, What's wait, his wow. score? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. The audience, what do you think? You, Michigan, go blue. What's the score? Five. Wow, all oh, right. Five. Yeah, five. All right, what are you thinking? My last name is Epstein. Oh, oh, oh is it? Oh, oh. oh. of no relation. He's my uncle's name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, that was really scary, actually. All right, and what really are you scary. thinking? Uh, six. Yeah, oh, and six. You, and you and five? Oh, five. Okay, so you didn't quite make the leaderboard. Get on the judging oh, panel. I yeah, want, yeah, I want well. you to help me judge people now. Make some noise for Rowie Rosen, everybody. Make some noise for him. Trust me, I know this is a good decision. It's important that he's here right now. We actually have three more comics. You guys want to banter really quickly until I find a name that has not been... Uh... Oh, I already got one. Make some noise for Aaron Bragone, everybody. To shine. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I was in the military for five years, and I got to say that this is much, much scarier. <laughs> <laughs> My older brother and I, we both decided to serve the government. I went with the United States Navy, and he went to federal prison. <laughs> we both had combat training. I learned how to use a pistol, and I wore it on my hip. He learned how to make shanks and hide them in his ass. <laughs> He's a lot braver than me. I never had to worry about anybody finding the things that I hid inside my butt. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people's kids make so much noise when they take them out in public. Mine don't make any. 
I just shoot them into a napkin and then I place them in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I believe in reincarnation full heartedly. <laughs> because about a week ago, I went through a life changing event that completely altered my perspective. I decided to take a look at my asshole. I may be 32, but that thing is at least 906. <laughs> Seems to me that this hole has lived many lives before me. At least four of them were altar boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know that saying, don't knock it till you try it, try it once? You know that saying? Yeah. I think it's stupid. Don't knock it till you try it. What about bestiality? Don't try it. I don't care how much fun everyone's having. I don't care how well groomed the horse is. <laughs> means no. <laughs> you know, I'm a personal trainer and I'm trying to be active on social media, you know? And it's amazing how fast social media gets information out there. I lost 35 pounds and I decided to post a weight loss transformation on TikTok. And within a week it had over 7 million views and 100 comments of people shitting on my hairline. One comment had 500 likes and said you lost more hair than weight. The runner up comment was still can't change the face. Going bald does run in my family, even my grandma. No matter how many hair products you tried, the chemo always won. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Aaron Bergoni. Aaron, you didn't laugh like that last time. What's Give going on, buddy? Hey, I'm finding my voice here. I'm finding my voice. Word? <laughs> All right. Yeah, wait, was that That's intentional? Crazy. Huh? Yeah. I got, a, I got a weird laugh. It's just how it No, comes. no, it's beautiful. You should laugh more. I was just wondering if it was intentional. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. It sounded like, like, a, like a, one of those Moo Lesters. <laughs> it was pretty... Is pretty. It was a little off-putting, but in a beautiful way. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I appreciate oh, yeah. that, bro. You laugh like like a like a puppet with sentience. You <laughs> laugh. <laughs> that's pretty wild, bro. All right, never mind. That's his real laugh. Now I like it more. I thought you were faking it because you didn't laugh like that the last time you were on the show. I was trying not to shit myself the last time I was here. Oh shit. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. What are you thinking, Jason? Uh, yeah, I, the laugh is crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a robot trying to be the Joker. Like. Uh, <laughs> It's, um, I think it's unique. I don't think you should remove it somehow, but I think you should be aware of like, that it is kind of Joker maniacal, you know? <laughs> it's like a weird kind of thing. Like, are you gonna like follow me after the show type of laugh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So you should, you should work that in, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. use it as a weapon. Right, right. Yeah, yeah but not yeah. against women, against audiences, which yeah, sometimes yeah. include women. Just make them think you'll follow them home. <laughs> I think it's funny that you had that laugh and you're like, nah, it's the weight. That's the thing I need to cut. I need to. <laughs> I wait, I, wait, I have a question because uh, you were you're in the army, navy, in the navy. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. The so, <laughs> the how long how long were you in that? Five years. Five years, and you were just putting all sorts of stuff up your butt. Hey, I had to do what I had to do. Is do you feel like you had to do? Because I'm very psychologically like curious about. Do I feel like I had to put things up? Yeah, because you. Yeah, well, you said that you. Yeah, felt yeah. Like you had to. Well, I mean, you know, if if people are searching and I need to hide something, you know, I know they're not going to. But what their... were you? What were you hiding? I had a, I had a little bit of weed, just a little <laughs> nugget. Just had to pop it in. Oh there. my! The, was it like a big nug? No. Because then the shape of the thing that that does not seem butthole shape. No, you, you got to put it inside of like a little cigar tube. Like wow. A little, like a little pre-roll. Yeah, that way you hit the G spot. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you could just clench it like a normal person going across the United <laughs> States Mexican border. God damn. Uh, <laughs> You're just putting raw nugs into your ass, and then they get smushed down. And <laughs> that's oh my god. Hard, oh, uh, um, I like it. Yeah, I think you're fun. I like your energy while you're on stage. I think your delivery is great. I think uh, you don't really need to. You don't need to change anything with the way that you tell the jokes. I think the subject matter can be uh, worked on a little bit. You gotta lean. You gotta lean just a little bit more into it. There's an overarching theme of like, am I gay or am I not gay? <laughs> I go far. Go go farther. Make me wonder even harder, dude. I <laughs> I want to see where it goes. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, what are you guys thinking? 
Yeah, that is my piece. Six. Six. You got anything you want to say? Like a like a like a a, f- a five point five, and I feel like um, a lot of the times you'll do the funny part at the beginning of the joke, but it should be like a surprise every time, you know. Mm-hmm. So it should be like the this is the serious part. Now this is the silly part, <laughs> and then you do that, and then you've got a winning formula. Hell yeah! Thank you. Uh, I think you started with a uh, with better energy, and then you ended off like around the halfway mark. You started to teeter off. I'm gonna give that one a four point five, but it's okay. I don't hate you as a guy. Please don't murder me in the <laughs> after this show is over. Uh, <laughs> all right, are you guys uh, make some noise for him, everybody? Thank you. Woo! Didn't quite make the yeah, leaderboard. Hooray! Are you guys ready to keep this show going? We have two more comics into the finals. Are you ready for your second to last comic? Oh yeah. All right, put your hands together right now for Harrison Marks, everybody. What's going on, guys? How we doing? Woo! All right, all right. I uh, I fucked up about two weeks ago, and I, I really can't stop thinking about it. Uh, a friend of mine sent me an article that Biden dropped out of the presidential race. And I didn't open it. Just read the headline. And I immediately sent it to my family group chat. And it turns out it was a link to a big black cock. Yeah, it was rough. Worst part was that my mom wrote back. She's like, I already saw this already. <laughs> I was like, really, mom? I thought this was breaking news. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, dude, it's summer in New York. And I, I, I think I realize which month is my favorite month now. It's June. It's not because it's Pride Month, but it's also Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah. Thought that was great. Thought it was kind of weird that they're still calling gay a mental illness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seemed wrong, you know? Gays deserve way better than to have to share a month with a bunch of whiny fags. (laughs) Yeah. Speaking of whiny fags, uh, my friends are raising a bunch right now. They're having kids. They're having kids. It's it's starting to piss me off a little bit. You know, I was at my friend's house the other day, and uh, he had the baby was in the next room, and I heard this noise coming from the room. It was a shh, shh. And I was like, yo, dude, what the fuck is that? He goes, oh, that's the shusher. It's a machine that helps the baby sleep. I was like, dog, it sounds like you got Bill Cosby in there. What are you talking about? Sh- shusher? You know what my shusher was when I was growing up? It was my dad going, shut the fuck up. Are you kidding? I was born high on Percocet, and I turned out, <laughs> it turned out not so great, but you know, I think better than those kids will. But I, I, know, I know two couples that I believe are, are truly, actually like happy with their kids. That's because one of them has dogs, and the other one has a stillborn. You hear that silence? That's what it sounds like in his house. It's fucking <laughs> bliss, guys. It's fucking great. It's great. Yeah. But I, I kind of want to talk about the Olympics a little bit. You guys, uh, you guys hear that, uh, you see that they recreated a picture of the Last Supper with a group of trans people? You guys saw that? People, people are outraged about it. And I was like, I think that's a little ridiculous. You know, if, if anybody knows a Last Supper, it's a post-op trans person. Like, Patricia remembers her last meal as Patrick. Right? Right. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, guys. All right. Make some noise for Harrison, everybody. Woo! Hell yeah. Let's, uh, where are you from? How long have you been doing it? I'm um, from Brooklyn. I've been doing it just under a year. Oh, hell yeah. yeah okay. Man. And why is only your lip sweating? Uh, that's uh, that's a good question. That's I don't know. Are you Italian? Uh, Italian and Jewish. Yep, that there it is. It, yeah. Is that what happens? I mean, racistly, yes, but actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> Wait, there, what? There's why, a couple why sweaty whispering? lips in the audience now. Yeah, now everybody is people, fucking. A lot confused. of Italians are second guessing themselves. All right. And that's the kind of activity you get once you add Roey Rosen to the judge panel. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> You look like you eat pussy like a Tootsie Pop. You like lick it three times, bite it, and then you're done. <laughs> oh no, I may, the ass maybe, but pussy, I'm I'm, I'm decent at it. I'm five seven, dude, I, and I have a foot fetish. If I'm, I'm if I'm not good at that, what am I good at? Wait, whoa, that's a <laughs> lot of information at once. Wait, whoa, wow. <laughs> I like that. What does Double your mom down. do? My mom? Yeah. Uh, she works in a doctor's office. I mean, like as a parent for you. Not a whole lot. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Ha, 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 ha. Come on. Dude. <laughs> I, you got anything you want to say? I just like how you, like, when you asked him if uh, he ate pussy, he was like, bro, I like feet. 
<laughs> of course I eat pussy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I liked. Uh, I thought you had a very clever joke where you used a bomb as the punchline of a joke. That yeah. was cool. Thank you. Um, I love like weird shit like that. Uh, yeah, the overall cool sets. Um, yeah, I like that joke a lot. Thank you, man. Appreciate you're doing it. weird shit like that. I like I like your gay joke. I like your gay joke. Okay. But then as soon as you transition to the f word, like, because you're a year in a comedy, and it's kind of like trying to pull like the sword from the stone. You know what I mean? It's I, like it's like if you're gonna use that word, it better be really funny. Uh, let me ask you though, like a question. Yeah. If I'm referring to people with mental illness, is that? Is that not like that's not you're not able to pull that? I mean, like, I, I it, it better be fun, you know. Like, it better okay. be because if you do it and it's really funny, yeah, yeah, you know, then yeah. like then people will go, ha ha ha. There's nothing wrong with what this guy is saying, but gotcha. then but then when you do, when you don't have like a mastery, I guess so, that, and you're just kind of thrown like you must know the power of the word, you know. So if yeah, you're just yeah. throwing it around, why then, are you explaining to him what just happened? Yeah. You don't, yeah. I, you don't I, need I, to I heard, ask I us, dude. You I don't know. I've just been drawing pictures the whole time. <laughs> I just Adolf Hartler. <laughs> Adolf Hartler. All right, for sure. Yeah, dude, you can't you can't unload that bitch out unless it's worth it. I don't know if that was worth it. You alienated yourself from the audience. It took a while to get him back. You actually did get him back with the stillborn joke. I thought that was a great joke. I agree Thank with you. Jason, but like you you can't, dude. You only got three minutes. You made yourself really unlikable. I think like fucking Joe Rogan got one. You 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 used. Three? You had three? Uh, yeah, yeah. That last one was really a stupid one. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, you fuck. I'd say stay away from that shit. Gotcha. I think just like trying to go for it for the shock is not going to help you. I don't think it helped you on this, but I, I am impressed that you could win your way back afterward. Half the audience is bisexual, so yeah, yeah. The <laughs> fact that they laughed at anything is like amazing to me. I, I like and I like the uh, I like the big black cock link, but I think you need to. <laughs> I think you need to really like put yourself in the situation more and make it more personal because you sent a picture of a big black penis to your mom. Like that's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. So like <laughs> act like that and yeah. you not don't tell it to me like you obviously just made it up on the spot. Like tell it to me like that really fucking happened to you and it'll make it so much funnier because yeah, like Yeah, sell it. Sell it hard. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Absolutely. Uh, what, uh, what are in, you guys thinking? In terms of the F word, too, like, uh, you can always, uh, instead of using, like, a harsh word, if the word is too harsh, just yeah. find, like, a softer thing that gets... Because you're trying to say, like, I guess, softer, kind of weaker yeah, 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 dudes. Yeah. So instead of using that, just, like, guy who does something soft. Ex, or maybe ex tiny pee pee boy. Yeah, yeah some. I yes. like that one. That one's yes. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just switch it to something else, you know? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. Your vibe is wild. I've never looked at a person and been more sure that they have, like an aesthetic Instagram page. Like, I guarantee. Uh, oh, for sure. Uh, you go down his shit, it looks nice, dude. It's all great. Yeah, he, put, he puts the shit in black and white on Tokyo filter. Oh, yeah. You know that. You know that. Pretty Come good, together to form a bigger thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what are you guys thinking score-wise? Uh, like a six. You're going to go six? Okay, for sure. What are you thinking, Roy? I would say I would say exclusion of of F slur I would say six but the F slur is Williamsburg man too many gay people I gotta knock it down at three point five no problem man you <laughs> fucking f no I'm just kidding that'd be really funny though right if I was a hypocrite like that uh yeah dude I think uh <laughs> should have committed <laughs> I think honestly I just really like the dogs and stillborn joke yeah. I think everything else was a little bit a little bit new yeah. uh that being said. I got you. Got to deduct points for the, the foul on the play over there, man. I'm gonna have to give that one a three. But you're only a year into it. It's a learning experience. No, yeah, dude. No, when I yeah, when I was a year in a comedy, people I would leave, and then people would be like, "Who's that racist guy?" <laughs> you know. And now, and now, three years in a later, people still think that, but now it's funny. No, now people don't you need know? to wait until you leave. They yeah, just they see just you coming, see, and they're yeah, like, they "Who's that racist coming. guy?" Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. My reputation precedes me. What can I say? All right. Well, you didn't quite make the leaderboard, Harrison. So. Uh, I Make some noise for Thank him you. if you feel like it. I'm gonna keep going in the bucket. Do you guys want to banter until I get a name that oh, hasn't been? Oh yes. Um, yes. How about that Turkish guy at the Olympics? Oh, everybody's talking about that Turkish guy. Dude, yeah, the fucking 51 year old man. What do you know what I'm do? talking about? 
Yo, okay, so everyone in the Olympics, they have like all this gear and shit, like that helps them shoot. Like they have like these fucking like like eye like ocular glasses things. They're not ocular glasses. I understand that's a redundancy. So stop looking at me like that, everyone. But you know they have like these things, and then this guy, he's just like a fifty-one-year-old man, no special training, no glasses. He just puts one hand in pocket like this, uh-huh. and he just. And it's so fucking gangster, and uh, and then and so yeah, he like gets like a he shoots a perfect Whoa. round. Did he win? No, he got silver. But no, fuck, but man? no training. Not he's just like a fifty-one-year-old divorced guy that like went through a divorce, and he's like, what if I fucking picked up a gun? And then and now he's like silver medal in the and then and then uh, uh, he said on the podium he was like, hey Sabrina, if you see this, I want my dog back. That's all. This guy's. That he actually said that. Actually yes. Said that? That's the funny. Uh, or thing or misinformation happened to me. Wait, did the first get place guy use all the fucking equipment and shit? Yeah, dude. Yeah, because he had the. the so dude, then this dude, guy actually crazy. just sucks. He could have won gold if he had the. If he had shit. the equipment, but he doesn't. Because what if it hindered him? You're not a shooter. You don't all know right. the nuances. You guys ready for the next comedian? The final comedian of the night. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! Put your hands together right now for Abby Laporte, everybody. Make more noise than that. It's the last Woo, fucking comedian. Yeah! Yeah. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> I prayed so hard just now. I visualized it. I was like, he's going to say my name, Abby Laporte, Abby Laporte. Uh, uh, relatedly, I have obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> I also have an Android phone. <laughs> Judge me for one, but not for both. <laughs> you know, uh, pick a lane. You know what I mean? If you're judging me for having an Android phone, I want to thank you from the obsessive compulsive community for being so accepting of our disorder. Okay. So fucking happy. Bro, I bought one ticket. I got to be honest. I was like I was like I hope every single person who went up were the people who bought more. Do you know what I mean? Like burn the okay. Um obsessive compulsive disorder. It seems like you guys don't necessarily connect with that, which is fine. I'm all right with that. Uh one of the perks of OCD is I'm really good at dating uh undiagnosed autistic men. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, I'm like their seeing eye dog, you know? We'll be counting the trains together. I'm counting, because I have obsessive compulsive disorder, I have to. They're counting, because it's fun for them. <laughs> but I'm the one who knows, like, socially, let's not, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna let you think about the undiagnosed portion of that joke later on. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> So I was a little too eager. I think I came up here too much energy. <laughs> Someone told me to not talk about having bipolar on stage. He's like, try it out. Just I have bipolar type one. Uh, I didn't find out on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> I found out in handcuffs. You know what I mean? I'm like a real. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh, we're gonna have to take you to the station, ma'am. I'm like, oh yeah, take me to the photo shoot, baby. You know, <laughs> too far. Okay, I'm on meds. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about. It. I won't hurt everyone. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> uh, do you, uh, so I love. Uh, I'm fine with thin women who are allies. I like skinny women who maybe they <laughs> they have a larger boyfriend. They get it. All bodies are beautiful, right? Uh, skinny women who that's their entire personality. Not a fan. You know, I, I don't like it. I, I, why are you proud of that? You know what I mean? And when I see a super skinny woman on the subway, because it's always on the subway, uh, they kind of like shoulder check me. I'm like, oh, are you jealous? Oh, compensating for your face. I'm sorry, that was too far. <laughs> when I see a skinny woman, uh, literally my amygdala, my reptilian brain is like, her man is a bad hunter. I need to help her collect berries. <laughs> There's no legumes in the household. You know, do you see what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, I'll end on this. Uh, I'm doing super well for being 26 years old. Thank you. I'm doing well in life. Thank you. Yeah, especially with bipolar and remission. Thank you. Okay, usually get claps on that. That's fine. Uh, doing really mid for being 32 years old. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yeah, make some noise for Abby, everybody. Woo! Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, I'm from San Francisco Bay Area. I've been doing it under a year there and about six months here. Oh, hell yeah, under six a year. Seven. All yeah. right. Well, make some noise for it. Yeah. What are you guys thinking about it? How are you feeling, boys? 
Uh, okay, I, I, uh, I think that because you were apologizing when you were being mean to the skinny bitches, mm. but, but this is this is this is the time. This is your art. You take your wrath out on those skinny bitches and don't hold back. Because when you like said and and get silly about it, you know, like when you said the thing about like the oh he's a bad hunter. That's such a funny way to and creative way to think about someone that's like uh, skinny. You're like oh they're malnourished. You know what I mean? But like. You need to you need to fucking unleash the wrath like fucking say that you're gonna run over that bitch with an ice cream truck or some crazy shit you know what I mean like and then and then because because it comes from a real place in your heart where you want them to die you want them to be snapped like a Kit Kat bar I pity them but thank yes. you yes <laughs> you oh wow see this this strong emotion you know like like really like double down on it you know because you know don't just be like oh you're ugly I'm sorry you know like be like you're fucking ugly. You fucking toothpick looking bitch. And then but but you're a woman, so you can say that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that bit now. No. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. Work on it. Don't cut it. For sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate the feedback. She said for sure, you fuck black people. Oh bitch. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Snow bunny. God damn, no. you just added a point with that shit. She Yo, said that shit so smooth. Here's the, here's the snow bunny. <laughs> yes, she is. Uh, My drawings predict the future. <laughs> that, that's not the future, you know. Okay, uh, next. Uh, hello. Oh, dude. I meant it's in the past as well. It's okay. don't. I I don't feel. Don't. Can you cut so that? Are you saying there? in the past because you don't fuck black dudes anymore? Or like? I'm just saying it's not just the future. This is not. I don't date. I don't know. I, it's okay. She's gonna Schrodinger's fuck a black guy. <laughs> we don't know whether or not she's gonna fuck a black guy, and gonna, someone must observe it. it. Mm. No, okay, can I just, I'm not dating right now, for anyone. Why is she sitting? I, 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 cause I'm nervous. No, people no, don't call oh, me out oh on that God, on no, stage No, no, it's okay. No, I think it was the right I movie. would never fuck a black guy. Well, fuck you, bro, why? Oh. <laughs> They're more compassionate than white men, clearly. Yo, no, whoa. straight out, talk your shit, bro. It's true. Yo, yo talk your shit. I am a compassionate online. lover. <laughs> sometimes. Okay, Epstein. All right, let's go into your set. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's go. We're going to go into your set. I think, um, number one, the whole Android OCD thing up top, you did not explain why. I was confused. It just left me in a state of like, what the fuck is you talking about? You know, uh, during your set, why Android? Why not Apple? If there is a joke that you can put that in there, put that in there. Number two, the I didn't find out from TikToks. I found out in handcuffs is one of the funniest things that was said tonight. <laughs> It was really fucking funny, but put it at the beginning because okay. that's the best way to describe your OCD. I have OCD, and I didn't find out from TikTok and the, 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 how you said it because I'm going to fuck it up. Uh, but, yeah, man, I think, uh, I think that you could restructure that. I think that I agree with him 100% on the skinny women take, like just really fucking lay into them. I would say— Well, not too much because then you'll break their backs. <laughs> Ooh. 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 It's funny. They pity your fatness. All right. Well, <laughs> that's what they want to tell themselves. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, Go on. I'm so sorry. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, good at dating undiagnosed autism needed a funnier like way to get into it. Not like your, I don't know, like your helper. I don't know. It's funnier that you can find him. I think it's like if you're a little truffle pig for autistic dudes, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Um, and I think the counting joke is like honestly like low hanging fruit. I think you can find something a little bit better from that. But for under like a year, honestly, that wasn't bad. You have good uh, good energy while you're on stage. You have a good stage presence. Not right now though. Right now I'm very I'm so scared. I'm so fucking nervous. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm terrified. trying really hard to be not weird. Dude, nervous white women are my least favorite thing. I'm Literally so same, bro. <laughs> terrified of nervous yeah, white like, women. Yeah, it's like that Pokemon. Uh, you know which one I'm talking about? It looks like a Pokeball and then it explodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's that one called? Voltron, Hell like yeah. Voltron. Um, also, to yeah. clarify, I've been, I did it under a year in San Francisco. I've been doing also six to seven months in New York. Oh, so, so it's, it's over it's a like, year. Yeah, it's a total. It's over a year. Damn, you do fuck with counting, huh? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very real. Yeah, all right. Uh, you got anything you want to say? Thank you so much. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you got like all the makings, you know, and but uh, and it just you just need to keep on refining, refining, refining. The thing that you do is really cool for somebody in the beginning is like, you're following instinct. Like a lot of people get married to their material and just kind of stay with it. But you were like kind of going around and like following your gut. That's a cool thing to have. But then you got to also make sure that it's like if you take a tangent, it doesn't get too bloated if it's bombing. And just like get back on track quickly if it, if it ends up not working out. That's but, super helpful. Thank but you yeah, so much. Keep taking the tangents whenever you can. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thanks. 
Hell yeah. I, uh, I like the brown tank top. You look like Laura Croft if it was Laura Kraft mac and cheese. <laughs> 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 uh, I think that, honestly, honestly, there were some really good jokes in there. You just got to restructure that. I'm going to actually give that one a five. Oh, damn. Yeah. What are you okay. thinking? Wow. Oh, uh, 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 I was going to go with like a five, but then you came after my Epstein joke, so now I'm going to give you like a... 4.137, and I hope it ruins your OCD experience on the show. <laughs> I hope that really bothers you. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe I'd like a five, too. You're going to go for a five again. All right, you didn't quite make the leaderboard. Make some noise for Abby. All right. That has been all of the competitors for the night. The way this show works is in the finals, the three people with the highest scores are going to come up and do one final joke, and then you, the audience, is going to decide who goes home with 210 fucking dollars. Are you excited for that? Do you that have energy so for that? so much money. Let's go. Come on. That? All right. So, so we the can top, buy a bicycle. Hell yeah. The top three comedians of the night are Brian, Alexis, and James. All right? In that order, can Brian please come to the stage? One joke from you. One bit. No time limit, but one bit. Don't be egregious. Thank you guys for Make some fucking thank noise you. for yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, New York. This is awesome, man. Thank you. I'll end off with this one. My mom is Dominican. Dominicans are very religious people. And my mom was like, Mio, you haven't gone to church with me for a while. Why don't you come with me? There's no food at home, so come on. Let's get a little Jesus cracker in you. So I go in there. I put the little Jesus cracker in my mouth, and I'm like, damn. Maybe Jesus was a white guy. Because that shit had no flavor, no spice, no nothing. Tastes like cardboard and milk. And then I had a weird realization. I'm like, damn, man, you're telling me I could put Jesus in my mouth and I could swallow him. And apparently I'm holy, I'm blessed, I'm going to heaven. But on the weekends, if I'm feeling frisky and I swallow my homie Jesus, <laughs> apparently I'm gay, I'm a sinner, that shit don't make no sense, man. <laughs> if you think about it, I feel like being Catholic is the most gay-friendly thing you can be. Because what do they say at the end of every prayer? Amen. But really, what I think they're saying is, ah, men. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Make some noise for Brian, everybody. Let's get that energy high. Let's keep it going as Alexis Rosaldi comes to the stage. Yeah. Woo. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> you guys, I'm I I'm trying to lose weight. All right, I'm trying to lose. I've been I've been giving a lot of head doing that. Try to lose some weight. Can't eat food if you have a dick in your mouth. That's that's the reason why. You guys, I've tried. Too much teeth. That's usually the feedback. No, I... <laughs> Yelp review is, ow, is actually fair. But, like, no, here... <laughs> I don't know what the fat girl in me likes more, if I'm going to be honest, if it's a full mouth or a creamy center. You know what I mean? One of the two. <sighs> I have a move. Write it down. It's called the Peter Griffin, all right? You're going to want to go down all the way until you have balls on your chin, you guys. <laughs> You're gonna give a little <laughs> once you hit that bass. How long, Alexis? Till he coats your throat with his family, guys, everybody, all right? Yeah. Giggity, giggity, goo. My name's Alexis Cristaldi. Thank you so much. Make some noise for Alexis, everybody. We got one comedian left. Put your hands for the final uh, comic of the night, James, everybody. Oh, yeah. How long is this beer? Whatever. That's not my joke. Okay. Uh, I uh, destroyed a gender neutral bathroom recently. Um, <laughs> dude, it was so bad, they turned it back into a men's room. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> a lot of genders, only one shit's like that. And uh, boy, that was not the joke to close on. Um, that's my joke. <laughs> All right, make some noise for James. James, stay on the Woo! stage. Alexis, Brian, get back on the stage. All right. So the way that these finals work, the way that we find out who goes home with 210 fucking dollars is wow. you guys are going to only clap for the person who you think should take home this money. Do you guys understand? Make some noise for me if you understand. Woo! All right. We're going to go from right to left. If you think that Brian should take home the money, make some noise for him right now. Give me the money, please. Yeah, I'll share it with you guys. All right. Not so bad. And make some noise if you think Alexis should take home the money. All right, make some noise if you think James should take home the money. Woo! Damn, it's looking like God James. Damn, Hell James. yeah. All right, they remembered from earlier. B -b 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 -beast yeah. mode. <laughs> All right, that's been our show. Thank you so much, Jason, for coming out. Thanks, Roy, for filling in. Hey, that's been pleasure. the Comedy Lottery. Thank you so much. Have a Hooray. good night.